सो हेलो गाइज सो यू गाइज मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट रिसेंटली अदरिंग वे एक्सपोज इन अपडेट इन विच यू कैन प्ले यूजिंग द फ्रेम जनरेशन ऑप्शन ऑन योर फोन बट दैट फीचर इज ओनली लिमिटेड टू द एट एल ई डिवाइसिस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई शो यू हाउ टू गेट दैट फ्रेम जनरेशन ऑप्शन इन योर डिवाइस इवन इफ इट डज नॉट हैव द एट एल ई प्रोसेसर इन माई केस आई एम यूजिंग वन प्लस थर्टीन आर इट हैज द स्नैपड्रैगन एट जेन थ्री प्रोसेसर and i think you should be able to uh, take the advantage of frame generation if you have a processor which is equivalent to the snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 or equivalent i think so i'll just ha huh, first of all i'll show you that i do not have that option here uh, as you can see i do not have that option it's usually at the last and i don't have it Because it's not supported on the 8 Gen 3, so I'll just walk you through the steps. So first of all, you need two applications. The first one is the Z Archiver app, and the second one is the Shizuku app. The Z Archiver and Shizuku app. These both applications are available on the Play Store, so you can download it from there. And uh, okay, we need this app uh, so that we can. uh edit the file of uh, wuthering waves although we are editing the file but it's like not hacking and something like that so don't worry there is no ban uh, ban situation right here and uh, for shizuku unfortunately uh android phones no longer are uh user friendly in 2027 i think uh google will also remove the side loading so some of the things have started to show up uh right now like for example you cannot uh you cannot yeah you cannot access this without shizuku so you will you will be needing shizuku for this so to uh Use Shizuku. You will have to enable developer options first. So to enable developer option, you uh, have to go to the settings, then about phone, then in the build option, you have to tap. You you know the process. If you are here, you must be knowing that process. So I'll walk the steps further. That you just have to come to the pairing option, then here developer options. Here you have to enable this USB debugging option and pairing code. Ah, here, zero three five six eight five, zero three five six eight five. Here, pairing successful. You can come here and hit on start. Yeah, Shizuku is running. Then hop on to the archiver app. Uh, now before uh, doing this. come to the settings then cuz we set up the shizuku app here it would be on su you have to switch to the shizuku then enable these options then only you can take the advantage of shizuku then come to the android folder then data here search for com.kuro or something like that um where is it com dot kuro here com dot kuro game then files ue4 game client client saved configs android and here don't get confused you only have to edit this particular file called engine dot ini file this open open using this and here come down I'll give the code in the description. Uh, it's this one. Uh, what it does is it will enable the Vulkan support, so games run much smoother on Vulkan API. Also, this AFAB, this part is the frame generation thing, and others are I think necessary for frame generation. So, yeah, just come here, paste this. and hit on this save option yeah done then 
if weathering waves is open then just close it and uh, hit run now this game will do the shared compilation as it will shift to the um, Vulkan API so it's normal when it when the game boots up so I'll reboot So the game is on. I will not cut this option so that you guys can believe that it's the same device. I'll zoom on it a little bit so that you can see the screen perfectly. So I'll again go to that option, go to the settings and here we have the frame generation option as you can see. So right now, um, right now we are getting 60 FPS. I'll enable this thing. 60 FPS. Yeah. Now when we turn on the frame generation option, it should push to 120 FPS. As you can see, 120 FPS, it's you it's battery smooth. Yeah, it's very very smooth. Also do note that your phone has to push much more FPS now and graphics also. So it will get hot, the battery consumption will increase. So do keep that in mind. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, also for also for the app which we installed for this, we do we no longer need that. You can just Z Archiver and Shizuku. You can stop it. Stop Shizuku. You can turn off the developer option. Do whatever you want. You can uninstall these apps. You no longer need these apps it was only required for editing the file that's it so that's it guys hope this video helps and thank you